Hi, this is Jim Harris with ArcGIS Living Atlas team. And I'm in the map viewer here today just to show a quick little example of a effect that's available in map viewer recently. We're looking at a map of educational attainment. Those areas in green have a relatively high percentage of people with a bachelor's degree or higher. And the size of the symbol is based on the quantity of people with a bachelor's degree or higher. So at this scale, I can kind of see the lay of the land on this topic in Chicago. And um, you'll note that the maps uh, features, these uh, symbols, they're kind of popping right off the map, which is cool. That's a new effect over here on the right side. There's a panel called effects where you can turn um, effects like drop shadow on or off. So here's the original map. Uh, I actually made this map a few months ago, and then when these new effects came available, I thought, yeah, I, I like that drop shadow effect. Let me see what it looks like on my map. And immediately what you notice is how the symbols, the point symbols start to pop off the map. You can set the color of the symbol to anything you like. It defaults to black, but you could soften it a little with gray, or you could set it to be a particular color. I'll leave it at black. You can set the width of the drop shadow so you can make it really ridiculous wide so it's almost like kind of having an interesting it looks like a spider web underneath it or something so I'm going to leave it at about uh, four or five you can uh, play with the offset so you can move that drop shadow around to um, whatever side top or bottom wherever you want that symbol to go I think I'll leave it kind of where it was and lastly, you can set the opacity. So you can make it totally opaque, in which case your drop shadow is known only to you to be having an effect. Um, but I would recommend you leave it somewhere between 70 and 100% opaque. Uh, the reason you might set it to slightly transparent, partially opaque, is to allow the color underneath the point symbols to kind of blend in with your drop shadow. It's just a subtle little thing. I think I'll leave mine at 100%. What's great about this is you could just quickly show somebody before and after and you know you can decide whether or not you want to use it. You'll also note it's applying a drop shadow to the boundaries that these point symbols are represented. This is actually a polygon layer um, so it's uh, turning on a little bit of drop shadow for those boundaries too. Kind of cool.